Hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here back again with another video for Red Devil Studio and we're here today to talk about Aubameyang to Manchester United. But if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, we unite X and smash that notification button for the latest Manchester United news. So yeah, Aubameyang to Manchester United, potentially. Um, it's been reported on the UK press, um, Sun, Mirror, Metro, etc., um, that Arsenal basically would prefer to cash in on Pierre Emerick Aubameyang this summer rather than risk losing him for nothing, even if it means selling to Premier League rivals Manchester United. Um, you know, a, 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 reportedly the Red Devils have identified Aubameyang, who's obviously 30, as a target head of the summer transfer window, um, with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer reportedly hoping to entice him to Old Trafford a deal worth £50 million. Pounds. Obviously, Aubameyang has been one of the most prolific goal scorers in Europe for the past seven years. That is true. Scoring 141 goals in 213 appearances for Dortmund and a further 61 in 96 for Arsenal. Um, despite his substantial influence at the Emirates, Aubameyang was named the new Arsenal captain in last year. The Gunners are still struggling to convince Ford to sign a new deal. So that, And that's the key thing here, really, is that, um, you know, I think Aubameyang will leave Arsenal. Um, I think that it's clear that he's seeing. I want to. He's seeing Arsenal's ambition. Arsenal's ambition right now is is at best Europa League, at worst mid table, um, and so it's clear that he's going to leave. Um, the question is, do Arsenal want to let him go for nothing? And now, and now obviously, Arsenal, much like Manchester United, have done this before. Players in the past where they've allowed the contract to go down, hoping they can negotiate a deal, and they've left for free. Um, Sanchez was like that. I think Van, was Van Persie. Van Persie might have been like that. Um, uh, Ramsey obviously was like that for Arsenal and a few others. We obviously were Pereira as well. So um, it seems that Arsenal would make the same mistake. Now, do I think that it's that Aubameyang, that United should sell, uh, should buy Aubameyang? First and foremost, I it's very doubtful, but it's happened before with Sanchez and obviously with Van Persie, so it wouldn't necessarily surprise me. The only thing, obviously, for me is that if we buy a Bamiyang, then there's no chance that a Garlo is going to come. And you, you could argue that if a Bamiyang, if we do sign a Bamiyang, then um, one of Greenwood, Marsha, and Rashford is going to sort of miss out. Whereas the positive of having a Garlo is that he's quite happy to to play that um, that um, add on role, if that makes any sense. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think United are in for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang? Would you want to sign Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang? Because it's clearly obvious that he is going to leave. I don't think he's going to sign a new contract with Arsenal. And could £50 million be enough to tempt him away from uh, Arsenal? Uh, we'll see. Thanks to everyone who's watching. Please, if you're new, leave a like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash that notification button for the latest Manchester United news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers. Thank <laughs> you.